So anyone who thinks that you could use this as an energy source is talking moonshine. <laughs> and within 30 or 40 years, you have <clears throat> nuclear reactors producing power and you have atomic bombs. Uh, wow. Rapid, rapid progress. Well, that's one thing that's been constant about people and predicting the future. We've always got it wrong. Always. Yeah, we, we miss some of the rapid advances. So in the same way that the theory is that as the universe cooled, something condensed out. So empty space isn't empty. It's full of Higgs particles, if you like, or a Higgs field. So every bit, so this means this space. Now it's not just space between the galaxies, it's in this room. That every square meter of this room is full of the Higgs field. And our fundamental particles, the electrons, let's say, in our bodies, interact with that Higgs field. And in that process, they acquire mass. So it's the, it's the mass generation mechanism. It's why some particles are massive, like electrons and quarks, and some things like photons are not massive. They're massless, and they travel through the universe at the speed of light. So that's the theory.